Hello, I'm Harvey, and a lot of people ask me about my claims that our meter measures a drip. Will it actually do that? Well, the reason it's important is that the majority of houses in England still have a storage tank in the roof with a ball valve, and every house in England has one or more toilets with a ball valve in their system. Now, we have a great big meter to measure everything, the high flow rates and the little drips. And if you come in close, I'll show you um, that it actually measure air. This is it. Now then, what we've done here, we've got a water softener and I've actually got a camera that plugs into a computer and the camera is mounted in underneath and looking at the bottom of the filter, uh, sorry, at the bottom of the meter. Now if you come over here and have a look, you can see that here we have the computer registering the meter and up here you can see the little drip. And that little drip is coming from over here, if you come down, and here you can see it dripping with the camera and there's a little control valve to make it increase or decrease and control the rate of the drip. Now if you step back a little minute you can see what happens as I put my hand here in front of the mirror and you've just seen the meter move, did you see that? You have to sit, oh there it goes again, now this is the meter moving at that drip. Now if I speed this up and watch it, I'm going to increase it now and there off she goes and there's the meter going um, with a higher flow rate. And if you come here and back a bit, you can see the meter now running at 0.15 or 0.1 of a litre a minute and it goes all the way down to when this one actually goes off the scale and you have to come over to this little meter to get back on the scale to watch. Now when it's dripping the meter moves really slowly but this is a time-lapse recorder so I'll rewind it to earlier on today and I'll give you like an hour and show you how many times the meter turns around um, on the time-lapse recording. Right well here we are in close-up watching the film and here we are at uh, the same date 26 9 o'clock in the morning and if we go back a little bit to 8 o'clock in the morning you can see the little drips coming here and the meter is still moving and that's phenomenal here we go back again and that's the difference that's why this is such an incredibly good meter so there you are it does what it says on the tin and it's very important that the meters do do this because let me show you what happens in a storage tank in the roof or when you've got a dripping tap somewhere or a little toilet system that fills slowly. You need one of these to register it. Right, I'd now like to show you the trickle flow that you get from a ball valve in the storage tank in the roof, so follow me. Right, so here we are up in the loft, here's the big storage tank and this is the ball valve and if you come over here and look closely you'll see the ball valve dribbling. You see this? Now this is what happens hours and hours on end is this little tiny top up just filling the tank up all the time ready for when you next flush the toilet or wash your hands. And that is the trickle flow that is so critical, which is why we use such a big displacement meter. Now if you come in and look closely, you can see the drip coming out of the ball valve. Come and look right down here. That drip will go on and on and on for hours. Right, now what we've got here is that the ball valve is virtually stopped and we're now going to flush the toilet and see what happens. Okay, Jamie, flush it! Here we go, the, uh, the toilet has now been flushed downstairs and so the tank will slowly start to drop and the ball valve will open slightly and here's the little trickle that's coming through from the ball valve. And this will take a minute to actually happen, um, so we'll kind of speed the clock up a little bit so you don't have to sit around for the next 10 minutes. Well, it's 
it's finally slowed down but it'll keep on dripping like this for hours and hours and hours so we'll just leave it go until it stops finally see how long it takes Now it's almost stopped. You can just see they're still dripping and it'll go on like that for a few more minutes. But I think I've made the point that uh, if you haven't got a displacement meter, you're not going to measure the water that goes into your tank and then it won't work properly. So there you have it. Having a meter that accurately measures the amount of water you're using is the prerequisite for a good water softener. You can't do it by guesswork or adding a little bit. You've got to do it accurately. So. All the houses in England have very variable flow rates. We're the only country in England that's like that. So that's why all water softeners manufactured elsewhere are used to full bore or stop metering systems. And so that's why in England. And the other thing to remember is the same type of meter as the water companies use in the water meter to your house. And they're not going to let you get away with anything, are they? So get a Harvey unit with a Harvey valve and a Harvey meter and you'll measure it all. Thank you.